video is 20 seconds off from the original SpaceX. That's another thing I was going to bring up. Hey, JM, did you say there's 20 second discrepancy? Yeah. Oh, there's also nine miles discrepancy, so 20 seconds. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, JM, is, is their video 20 seconds longer or 20 seconds shorter than the SpaceX video? It's 20 seconds longer. And nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Supersonic. Side boosters are now throttling back up to full power. We're past max Q, the period of maximum loads on the vehicle. Next up, we'll be waiting for the side boosters to begin to throttle down prior to booster engine cutoff and separation two and a half minutes into flight. GNC trajectory looks good on the Falcon Heavy. Reports show that the M1D engine performance is nominal. Side boosters have begun to throttle down in preparation for the upcoming shutdown in 20 seconds. Major event coming up with side booster shutdown and separation. shutdown. Side boosters. Successful separation. We're coming up on Nico in shutdown.
Wow. Wow. <laughs> Did you guys see that? That was awesome. That's the only thing I can <laughs> really say Absolutely right now. wild. Absolutely wild. <laughs> wow. I, I got nothing else. Oh, man. Uh, recapping all the great things that you just saw there. Uh, successful liftoff from the pad, successful stage separation. But before that, successful booster separation. You can see stage one. Uh, the two side boosters, pardon me, you can see the center core and you can see MVAC lit up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> then the beautiful shots of uh, Starman chilling in the Tesla Roadster. Uh, <laughs> absolutely incredible. Uh, <laughs> on, on your screen at the moment, uh, you've got a few things happening. On the upper right, you've got MVAC D continuing its burn. Uh, on the upper left, you have the center core headed back towards the autonomous spaceport drone ship. And in the two bottom screens, you've got the side boosters headed back towards Cape Canaveral Air Force Station landing zones one and two. Uh, the next step coming up for the side boosters and the center booster uh, is the re-entry burn. Uh, that's going to slow it down from uh, or slow all the boosters down from way faster than the speed of sound to just faster than the speed of sound uh, in order to reduce some of those aerodynamic forces and heating that occurs when you're moving that quickly through the atmosphere. Entry burn. Entry burn. And as you can see on your screen, that re-entry burn for those two side boosters has begun. The center core in the upper left of your screen performing its own re-entry burn. You can see the, the edge of Cape Canaveral in uh, both of the side booster cameras as those are coming in. Center core entry burn shutdown. Uh, and even though those look very similar, those two boosters uh, views, those are actually representing different boosters. Uh, and they're heading towards Earth. They're about to begin their landing burns. We'll hopefully be able to bring you nice footage of that. And watch for the landing lights to be at the tail end of that landing. This is my original Falcon Heavy launch, the Falcon Heavy demo flight. Uh, you can see it was recorded 
Uh, this is also, I, I should note that I keep my camera set to universal time because I do astronomy. And in astronomy, we do everything in universal, universal time. So it shows it as having been recorded February 6, 2018 at 8.42 p.m. This is my original Falcon Heavy launch, the Falcon Heavy demo flight. 